Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the latest changes to Escape from Tarkov. So we've got some crafts that have been nerfed. We've got some more items that have been added to the banned list on the flea market and some changes with the gas analyzers. So I'm going to go through those with you. The things in the game are changing rapidly at the moment, though the values behind the scenes or the silent changes are changing pretty much every day. Gas analyzers especially seem to be up and down and all over the place. They had to their spawn chance increased across all maps and then they were removed completely from interchange and then they were put back on interchange and then they had their chance on the interchange reduced so they are all over the place at the moment but it, in essence the global loot for gas analyzers was boosted per, per, per every map so it, they should be a little bit easier to find now but they are also one of the items that has now been banned for sale on the flea market you cannot no longer sell those on there so looking at the crafts that have been nerfed these are are for ammunition so first off we've got the 762 bp rounds they have been nerfed they've been reduced from 180 craftable rounds down to 120 we've then got the ppbsgs golnik that has been nerfed from 180 rounds down to 150 rounds and the M61s have been reduced from 100 down to 80. And the AP20 slugs for the shotguns have been reduced from 120 down to 80. So you can now craft less of these. Um, not really sure where Battlestate's going with that one. You can't trade none of this ammunition on the flea market. So you're only creating it for yourself. But obviously it looks like they're wanting to try and control the high level ammo as much as possible. And make it sort of as rare as they possibly can. Um, whether or not that's a good move will be down to how you actually play the game then we've got the latest items that were banned on the flea market these wasn't included with the original ban when the game wiped i don't believe but they have been added since so the altin bulletproof helmet has been added the galvian cayman hybrid helmet has been added the cry precision airframe helmet tan has been added the ops core fast mt super high cut helmet black and tan have also been added and as i mentioned earlier the gas analyzer has been added too so so those are the latest changes in Escape from Tarkov. As I say, as soon as more changes are produced and I get hold of the information, I will of course put a video out. If I don't manage to get a video out at the time of that information becoming available, I will put it up on Twitter. I will retweet from the guy who gives me all of this information. And of course, I will put a message up on their YouTube with a community post as well to let you guys know. And that is pretty much it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one.